So here we are at uh, Middle Street Meadow again, and um, yeah, what a wonderful place for the banded demoiselle. A beautiful dragonfly, one of the earlier ones in the season, and uh, it's particularly frequent around this area. So at, uh, the year before last, I must have seen 50 to 100. On the uh, scouting mission last night, I only saw about half a dozen, but we only need one. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Panic now if you're a reed warbler because there's definitely a cuckoo in the area and there's at least three reed warbler nests in activation along here. Panic now, cuckoos. So it's that time of year when uh, Camilla and I go on to a macro mode or a closer focusing system because the sun gets up so high so early these days and uh, now we move on to a kit which um, I'll show you here's one I made earlier laid out for you and uh, this is what's in the kit bag at this time of year we've moved from the long range telephoto to the 100 to 400 so that we can use that for any bird shots or anything that comes up but also we've used, you've moved on to the macro lens which um, to uh, get the close-up detail of insects. So uh, what uh, Camilla and I are going to attempt to do today is to basically get in really close. That's why we've got the uh, 90mm f2.8 Sony macro on and uh, we're going to get in really close. And what we're going to do is take you along with us, scout out the area, find the banded demoiselle and then we're going to work the scene and we'll try every angle every conceivable angle with vegetation without vegetation in close it should be early enough for it not to fly off that's the advantage of getting up five o'clock in the morning so uh, don't forget got to be there to get the shots okay okay so i'm just going to go down this path here and um, survey the grass area and see if I can spot a uh, banded demoiselle. Also, I particularly like the mayflies at this year, time of year, so this may turn into mayfly hunt. Okay, right, let's go and have a quick look, see what we can find. Well, that was a futile exercise. You wouldn't believe I was here last night. Anyway, <laughs> we'll we'll see. We'll try a bit further up. Um, hopefully, there's some around. Okay, the hunt for the banded demoiselle continues, and um, this is an even lusher area. So, hopefully, we'll, we'll find one this time. They do take a bit of finding. Overnight they do lower themselves down into the uh, grasses and uh, reeds etc. So uh, you do have to uh, hunt. But obviously as soon as they open their wings they are quite obvious. They're quite a good dragonfly to spot because there's a high contrast level. The wings have got that. Uh, the male has got the band on the wing which is why obviously they're called the banded demoiselle. Okay let's see if I can find one now.
Okay, well, quick update. I've uh, spotted one, but it's right in the pond. And um, Camilla and I don't do waders. Um, if you want to see an excellent video on in flight shooting of the banded demoiselle, Andy Rouse. Beautiful. Anyway, um, yeah, watch mine first. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the. Um, so we'll try again, basically. Failed so far. We'll move further down and uh, see if I can get one a little bit more accessible. As you know, Camilla and I, we do accessible wildlife on this channel. So, uh, degree of difficulty, zero. Okay, folks, right, we'll try this spot now. Um, God, I'm thinking I should have done this earlier. Anyway, um, yeah, third time lucky. Let's see if we can uh, find one this time. So as you can see, uh, pre-planning is essential and um, yeah, we failed miserably. <laughs> Terrible. Never mind. Okay, we will find one. I'll just have to hunt a bit further. Well, we're trying every angle on this uh, banded demoiselle and uh, yeah, what a beauty it is hosing away for us. It's the same with all these uh, macro uh, subjects. It's a question of getting your eye in and uh, once you sort of get your eye in, you start seeing them everywhere. Plus, of course, the sun rises a bit so they do start opening their wings so it does make it a bit easier. So, of course, I've just spotted another one over here. but. Um, We'll concentrate on this one. Okay, so we're really working the scene here. All angles covered. Trying to keep the sensor plane parallel to the subject so that you have a flat, basically a flat subject to photograph. If it turns at all we have to try and get into the same focal plane again because otherwise parts of the banded demoiselle will be out of focus. I'm working in uh, manual mode. I'm also slightly rocking back and forth working my composition the subject now is also rocking slightly back and forth as the wind comes up so I'm going to increase the shutter speed to probably 1 500th of a second I think so it won't be long now before this uh, dragonfly wakes up and hopefully its wings will open. So really, we want to be in position for the wing opening, which is over there. So I'll go over there. So you can see how I've set the uh, monopod up so that it's the same height as the subject because as usual it's best to get eye level with the subject shooting down on it or up at it tends not to work I have got some interesting shots of up shots if I can find one I'll, I'll put one in but that's of uh, usually of butterflies and underneath the wing 
and uh, you don't usually get long enough with these guys but we'll see I'll see if I can get an upshot but anyway we're hoping for a wing opening now and with a wing opening we need greater depth of field so what we'll be doing is stopping down to about ooh, maybe f8 even f11 um, just to capture that hopefully all in focus again it's a question of being parallel to all four wings which is quite a uh, quite a feat in these particular creatures. I'm photographing through some of these some of these lovely grasses in front just to give a diffused effect. If I do that again I think it's going to fly off. Not sure that's going to work, but just keep trying everything. Might even shoot down on the subject in this case because if you can see, the wings have now sort of gone at an angle. So, um, so lining up the sun movement, I think, and I'll go on to autofocus. I need slightly longer. Beautiful. Lovely subject. Gorgeous. Banded Demozel doesn't get much better. Beautiful. Okay, you always got to watch your background. Background is almost as important as the subject, I'd suggest. Never going to get a completely soft background in these conditions, or in this position. Well, unlike a landscape, um, you know the land's there and you know where the sun's coming up. With this, even though I scouted the area last night, you never know exactly where you're going to find the uh, insect next. So, of course, uh, but once you've got one in your sights, I recommend work the subject. It's no good me now sort of like going off and trying to find something else better than this one because this is in a very good spot and very nice location and hopefully get some very good photos. So we're just concentrating on this particular band of Demoiselle and concentrating on it and getting the shots. Oh, such pressure. Also, the focus peaking system that's on most cameras these days. Everything that's in focus is currently coming up in blue on my screen. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. So, when everything's in blue that I particularly want to be in focus, obviously, this is an obscure angle, but then I can take the shot. Obviously it's always important to have the eyes in focus. As this one's still not opening up, I'm going to try and go really close and um, it'll probably fly off. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. So I'm going in for an eye shot. But, uh, so the wind's getting up now, so I should have done this a bit earlier, I right? think. Excellent. Let's go to the maximum and see what we can rock in and out on.
The other thing with macro photography is it's a great test of your camera skills. Um, it's time to uh, slow down, slow down, get mindful with your photography and really experiment. The world's your oyster with macro. Hopefully you've got a subject like this one which has sat around now for, well since I found it I suppose it's been sitting there for about the last half an hour and uh, as the sun comes up on it I'm sure it will fly off. It will fly off at some point but you see the get the picture you don't always get this time in wildlife photography with your subject but with macro you've got plenty of time to explore the subject take your time get the shots experiment and get up early Ooh. Eek. Oh, God. difficult getting down there well that's about it for, uh, I suppose for another episode of uh, Camilla and I. Uh, wait until the end though, don't switch off yet because I'll, uh, I'll show you my uh, best photo to date of a, uh, a pair of uh, mating banded demoiselle. Absolutely lovely. Anyway that was taken last year. Great to have you along this morning, hope you enjoyed it. Just shows that uh, this time of year we start getting into uh, the macro micro world and uh, indeed the wind's getting up now so it's just as well packed up now because it's going to uh, it's definitely uh, definitely turning you can't do macro photography in in winds really much over 10 miles per hour you can but you have to uh, wobble a lot okay anyway i think i've uh, i think i've definitely deserved a coffee break here so uh, yeah camilla and i have been hard at it since uh, five o'clock this morning so again it's uh, Unfortunately, here's one I made earlier. Unfortunately, half of it leaked over the trolley, but that's besides the point. Here's one uh, made earlier. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you got something out of this particular uh, episode of uh, Camilla and I on the uh, banded demoiselle. It's a terrific dragonfly, one of the early ones of the year. Well worth uh, exploring. Cheers. And, um, yeah, what a beauty. So, marvellous location again as before, um, check out the reed warbler that uh, I photographed uh, earlier in the year in the same spot. This indeed is only recorded a couple of weeks later. It's not, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a wonderful nature reserve. So uh, yeah, get on down here. Very accessible, just the way Camilla and I like it. And um, yeah, varying degree of subjects. Uh, we'll be back again later in the year. Yep, no doubt we will be back later in the year. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and uh, let us know if you want more wildlife vlogs on the macro subject. Comments below please as usual and uh, let us know what you think. Have a good one. Bye from Camilla and I.